Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure Laravel API Sanctum with a Vue 3 frontend. Laravel is at version 10 right now and some things with some Sanctum configuration have changed, very minor things, but um, I it took me a little time to figure it out, so I'm trying to share it with you. Um, let's start with just creating a new view project. Also. These are not necessary, but you can do whatever you want. If you want to do some of those yes or not, it's up to you. It doesn't change anything at uh, the outcome. Let's cd into it and do an npm install. Then just start it. So we have our front end. As you can see at localhost. Now let's do the back end. Let's cd into it. Let's install Laravel Blue Breeze, which gives us a scaffolding for the login uh, and everything else for the out. Let's do the scaffolding with PHP Artisan Breeze install API. In the newest uh, documentation of Laurel 10, you can see it also without the API, but I'm doing it with the API. So now we have all the scaffolding and the course and everything is configured for the API, so for the, uh, a front end or an SPA application. And uh, the next step is uh, connecting it to a database. Let's do that as well. I'll just open it into VS Code. And let's go to the env file. and build a new one, so that's the env file and let's give it a name so the scaffolding can take place go to the database and seed the user so we can know to log in with something so the migration will create us a user and the seeder as well with the email and the password for login. Let's run the migration. And the migration took place and let's do a seed. So we get the user. Now let's start the configuration. This is the most important part. So the first thing I would add is the sanctum stateful uh, domain which is located under config sanctum and if you at the, the first thing is that so just add that at the env file like so and the local host which in my case is 5174 in some cases you might have it at 3000 in this one it's like that so without the http and without a trailing uh, slash and the second thing is the session domain which is in this case case the most important part uh, before laravel 10 is it was just localhost but right now at the documentation is it's with a, a dot in front of it 
So this session domain is located at uh, config and then session and you have to scroll down a bit until you find it and here it is the domain the session domain which you also add with the localhost dot localhost save this and run it now the server starts at localhost 8000 which we now go to the front end and make this at the front end i just scaffolded a simple login which i um, after submitting it i am using this function and both of those have, have a v model binding and a little bit of the styling i I'm trying, I try to provide this code, this simple code, if you need it, uh, at the description uh, down below. And uh, the JavaScript then, we have to, after writing the uh, function for the login, um, we uh, need to get the Axios, so the, so the CS, CSRF token, with a GET request with Axios. Uh, don't forget to add this with credentials and with a XRFS token to true. Um, uh, and also then we try to log in to the API login um, with the email and the password. And if it succeeds, we get the results. So just the confirmation that we are logged in. And if not, we get the error. What I did, if you if you see it, um, I am trying to log in from the A API login. What I did at the back end is I moved the the routes from the auth routes. So the auth routes in this case is nothing, and I moved everything to the API route. So everything from the register to login to forget password and so on are in this route. So I saved it here and got the uh, kernel and added these two lines in order to, to start the session. Um, and then uh, let's try it out in the front end. Let's first start a server. Let's do npm run dev. After this, we can start. And in the front end, we chose the password password at the migrations. And now let's try to log in. So here's the console and the network tab. And at the net network tab, as you can see, you can you can see the login is succeeded with the 302, and we. The reason we get this 404 is because the backend is trying to redirect us if we are authenticated. So at the route service provider, it goes to dashboard and this is trying to uh, redirect us to the dashboard, but because we don't have, we still don't have a, a route for it, we cannot do that yet but let's ignore it for now we um as we as you can see you get the cookie and you can log in so everything is is right and if you see the application we see also the cookie is there and if we want to try it to test it further we can also go to the front end and try to get the user after the login so at this route, I have uh, a point, a, a route at the API. If we go to the routes and the API, I am getting here the user, which is protected from the Sanctum out. And so after this is done, it will 
try to get the user. So let's try that out. Let's give that a password and login. As you can see here, we get the user and the user data. If you like this video or learned something about it or it provided you with a solution, please like it and uh, tell me if it worked or not at the comments. So I, I know if you have any questions, you can also leave a comment. And um, let's hope it works.